Good morning, beautiful people. I hope that all is well in your world and this day and this day <clears throat> become a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. Beautiful, intelligent black people. Know that when these racist white folks and the racist white control mass media when they when they place President Obama in the same position as Trump then those white racist bastards are insulting all black folks President Obama will never, ever belong in the same position as Donald J. Trump. President Obama is at the top of the ladder. Trump is at the bottom. So white folks, racist white folks, please, Stop comparing, equivocating President Obama with Trump. There's no comparison. When you compare President Obama with Trump, you are insulting President Obama. You are insulting all black folks, period. Stop it, racist white folks. The racist white control mass media does it every day. I would like to commend Mondari Jones. He is a black, openly gay person that is running for U.S. Congress in the Congressional District 17, which represents Rockland and Westchester County in the state of New York. He is a real brother a true brother. It has been a summer of black pain and anger. This summer of this year has been a summer of black pain and anger on full display. And still, yesterday, just yesterday, I woke up, and yet another, another shocking video of an unarmed black man being shot seven times in the back by a racist, punk-ass, racist, punk-ass, white boy cop. It's not enough to paint Black Lives Matter on mur murals. That's not enough. It's not enough to paint Black Lives Matter on the side of buildings in the middle of streets. It's not enough for these so-called liberal Fortune 500 companies to come out and support Black Lives Matter. Much more have to be done. We need substantive policy reform. We need policy reform. White folks, if you want to support Black Lives Matter, 
if you are really interested in saving black lives, then support, demand, substantive policy reform. Require, demand, accountability, accountability, demand, accountability, white folks. Demand that all of these white racist cops, including the one that shot Jacob Blake in cold blood, at point-blank range in the back seven times. We need the racist white control U.S. Congress and the U.S. Senate to step up and do their jobs, protect all of us, not just Trump supporters, Protect black folks from these vicious, racist, KKK white cops that are killing black folks every day. These unlawful police forces, these unlawful, idiot white cops, They need to be reined in. You need to rein in these police forces that are no longer acting to keep the public safe, but to keep black folks down. That's what they are doing. They are acting like a slave patrol. A slave patrol. Do you know the the police departments, the police forces are an evolution of the slave patrols and still in August of 2020, we still have white cops just viciously shooting unarmed black folks in the back seven times at point blank range. If you shoot someone seven times, you mean to kill them. You're trying to kill them. One shot, one gunshot will stop anyone. Shoot them in the leg. This animalistic racist white cop shot Jacob Blake in the back at point blank range seven times. These folks need to be reined in. These folks need to be fired. All of my condolences, hopes, and prayers go out to the Jacob Blake family. I believe The news is that he will survive. Nonetheless, he will be permanently paralyzed from the waist down. That is the most recent news that I have spoken by Jacob, Jacob Blake's father. We need to elect black politicians, representatives that will always have the concern, the compassion, the empathy, the well-being, the health, the lives of all our black brothers and sisters on their minds, in their hearts, when they are 
participated in legislature when they are policy making, etc., etc. White folks will never save us. White folks will never save us. White folks will kill us, marginalize us, assault us, denigrate us, demoralize us. White folks are our enemy. That's all I have on this one.